Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Photoshop Tips and Tricks series. Today, we've got five fantastic techniques that will take your editing skills to the next level. So grab your mouse, open Photoshop, and let's get started. To create a glowing effect, we will start by creating a black solid layer. Just go to the adjustment, select solid color, and set the color to black. Click OK. Now, let's add a color balance adjustment layer to achieve your desired color for the glow effect. Make sure it is clipped to the solid layer. In the mid-tone, increase the red and yellow tones to create a warm glow effect. I'll also increase the red and yellow tones in the shadows as well as in the highlights. Now, here's where the magic happens. Create a new empty layer in between the color balance and the black solid layer. Let's rename this layer to Glow Paint. With the Glow Paint layer selected, grab the brush tool and ensure the foreground color is set to white. Set the brush flow to around 1%, hardness down to zero, and start painting on wherever you want the glow effect to appear. You'll notice the glow effect building up as you paint. Now, to see our glowing effect on the background image, simply select the black solid layer and change its blending mode to screen. And there you have it. A beautiful glowing effect that you can place and transform anywhere you want. And the best part is, you can create a more glow effect by creating a new layer and simply painting on it. The more you paint, the brighter the glow will become. Feel free to experiment with different flow, brush size and opacities. You can also try different color combinations to create various glowing effects. For example, increasing the blues and cyan tones can create a cooler glow effect. Experiment with the mid-tones, highlights and shadows to find the perfect glow. This is how you can create stunning glowing effects with just two simple adjustments in Photoshop. Before we head into the next tips, I want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Pixlr. Pixlr's AI technology brings a new level of efficiency and creativity to your editing process. Simply go to the AI photo editor, open your desired image for editing, and you will find the AI tools option where you will find a variety of AI image editing features. Let's select generative fill. Now, make a selection of the area where you want to generate something creative. Next, provide a prompt or description of what you want to generate. The AI will intelligently fill in the blanks for you. Next, we have Generative Expand. Simply select the size you want to expand or adjust the settings according to your preferences. This tool allows you to seamlessly expand your image without losing quality or resolution. Now, let's move on to the next tool, which is one of my favorites, the Face Swap tool. Simply select the face you want to replace and the target face you'd like to use. And Pixlr swaps them flawlessly. Isn't that amazing? But that's just the beginning. Pixlr offers a plenty of other AI tools, such as Superscale, which intelligently expands your image while preserving its quality. SuperSharp. This tool intelligently sharpens your photos and making them crisp and clear. This AI noise remove tool. Eliminate unwanted noise and grain from your photos. Easily remove unwanted objects or distractions from your images with the Remove Object tool. Pixlr offers more than these AI-powered editing tools. So start exploring these features today and edit your photos like never before. Click the link in the description below to get started on your creative journey today. All right, now let's get back to our next Photoshop tips. Let's learn how to create a golden skin tone. First, let's start by creating a gradient map. Go to the Adjustment layer and then select Gradient Map. Next, click on the Gradient bar to open the Gradient Editor. Within the Presets, go inside the Basics folder and select the Black and White Gradient, and then click OK. Next, select the Layer Mask of the Gradient Map. Then go to the Image menu and select Apply Image. In the Apply Image dialog box, make sure the layer is set to Merged, Channel is set to RGB. Change Blending to Multiply. Opacity, 100%. Then click OK. Great, we've now got a balanced skin tone. Now it's time to give it some golden color. So go to the adjustment layer and add hue and saturation. Make sure it is clipped to the gradient map layer. Check the colorize option, set saturation at around 50% and adjust the hue to achieve that desired golden tone. Fantastic. Now you'll notice that the golden tone has been applied to the entire image but we want to apply this effect only to the skin area. To do this, we'll delete the layer mask for now 
and just grab the quick selection tool from the toolbar and carefully select the skin area of your subject. Once you've made the selection, click on the Add Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. This will create a layer mask that limits the golden tone to just the selected areas. Now, select the layer mask and paint out the black color where you don't want the golden skin tone, for example, around the eyes. And just like that, we've created a beautiful golden skin tone. Here's how to create a transparent or see-through background elements in text shapes. For this effect, many people use layer masks, but this is not an effective method. In this case, you will get the desired result, but you will not be able to change the text after layer masking. Instead of using the traditional layer mask method, we're going to utilize a technique called Knockout. Just select the text layer, then right-click on it and choose Blending Options. Or just go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the FX icon, then select Blending Options. Here you'll find an option called Knockout. Set the Knockout to Shallow. Now, you won't see any immediate changes in the text, but if we slide the fill opacity all the way down to zero, now you'll see the text becomes transparent, revealing the background. You can now also edit the text itself, change the wording, font style, size, etc. Finally, create a group for both the text layer and the yellow background layer, so the knockout effect won't affect the other layers. Here, we will learn how to cut out a tree from its background and refine the mask using brush blending techniques. First, let's select the Quick Selection tool from the toolbar and simply click on Select Subject. Once our subject is selected, let's create a layer mask. This will create a layer mask based on our selection, but as you can see, selection is not perfect. To refine the mask, we'll use the Select and Mask feature. Let's choose the Refine Edge Brush tool and simply paint over the areas where you want to refine the mask. Notice how Photoshop intelligently adjusts the mask, bringing back details and refining the edges. Once you're happy with the mask, click OK. Now, let's enable a white background for better visualize our selection. As you can see, our Refine Mask also selected some of the cloud areas. Let's fix that. Select the Layer Mask and choose the Brush tool. Set the brush color to black. Let's isolate the layer mask by pressing the Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask icon. Then mask out the unwanted areas. However, the black mask paint has also removed some parts of the tree. Let's undo that quickly. We'll use the brush tool but with a twist. Change the brush blending mode to overlay. Now, when we paint over unwanted areas with the brush, it will only remove those areas that are not 100% visible. And there you have it, a perfectly cut out tree with a refined mask ready to be placed on any background. We're going to explore a unique technique to create 3D text effects without using any 3D tools. Let's create a black background for our text. Next, select the text tool from the toolbar, choose the color and type out your desired text onto the canvas. Next, we're going to create the illusion of depth for our text. Duplicate the text layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Duplicate Layer. Now, merge down one of the bottom text layers with the black background layer. Let's hide the top text layer for the moment. With the bottom layer selected, head over to the Filter menu, Distort, and then Polar Coordinates. Select Rectangular to Polar option and hit OK. Now, go to the Image menu, select Image Rotation and rotate the canvas 90 degrees clockwise. Lastly, go to the Filter menu, select Stylize, then select Wind. Choose Wind as the method and set the direction from the left, then hit OK. To get the 3D depth effect, you will need to apply the Wind filter multiple times. You can do this by pressing Alt plus Ctrl plus F, or by repeating the last filter several times until the lines are smooth. We are now near to the final result. All we have to do is reverse the process to bring back the text depth to its original form. Go back to the Image menu, select Image Rotation again, but this time choose 90 degrees counterclockwise. Great. Now, return to the Filter menu, go to Distort and select Polar Coordinates once again. But this time, choose Rectangular to Polar option. Nice, we have successfully created the 3D extruded depth. Now, let's enable the top text layer and change the color. 
feel free to experiment with different text styles and color to achieve your desired look. And there you have it, a 3D text effect created without using actual 3D tools in Photoshop. I think that's it for today. These five tips and tricks are just a starting point. Remember, Photoshop is a vast playground, so keep exploring, experiment and have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks and leave a comment below sharing your favourite Photoshop hacks.